Okay, hey guys, um, this is part three of my MSW logo, and to and now we're going to get into really complicated stuff, like changing the pin color, and that's changing the color of your lines, and then we're going to get into circles and other things. Now, the base of my whole program, what I did is I made a flower garden. Um, it was actually a school project, so don't tell me, like, what the heck, Brandon. Just don't mind it. Um, but I did a flower garden because we had to do a flower garden, and I made mine really good. <laughs> but the base of this thing is um, ar the arc. And basically what the arc is, is just an arc. And that's actually almost every single thing in my flower garden. Flower garden uses the arc. Um, so basically it's just repeat 90 times, forward 1, RT1. And um, that's all circle is, is a forward one space and then right turn one space and you just repeat that 360 times and you make a circle. Um, I mean you may not have figured that out but yet but that's pretty simple. Um, bird is pretty much like arc just to show you. Um, bird is just like that. Um, I'm gonna actually right turn 90 because in my flower garden I have my uh, turtle turned a different direction so it looks better um, but it's just a simple bird um, and also in my part 2 I lost my turtle all that is it actually is called a turtle um, you just type in HT that means hide turtle and then as you see that went away and then ST show turtle um, that's if you uh, like if you're doing a presentation showing it to everybody you may want to hide your turtle so um, it doesn't look bad at the end um but then we have black and that's the most basic color now with this you may want to experiment a little bit um if you have Adobe Photoshop elements it's great if you want to choose the color you know you can go into that little space and it'll show you a rainbow and then it'll show you on the side if you look closely it'll say R G and B and that's the um that's red blue and green and that's like the coding to tell the computer to set R the red um tinted tint to this uh, degree and then green and then blue and that's how they make almost every single color in um, in like programs with different colors and what you want to do is you say set PC so S E T P C one word and then space and then you do the brackets and then you do R you do it in order R G B so you just if R was um, 168 you would say 168 and then G was 31 and then B was 31 you'd say 168 space 31 space 31 and then close the bracket and you have to do it in order or else it would mess it up now that's just the uh, that's brick which is um, a brownish color and then I have like a maybe 15 different colors I've made I go all the way into complicated like teal and dark teal stuff like that um but you really need a program like that to figure out what are what the red blue and green levels would be because unless you know them by heart like if you you could look them up on the internet but I mean one of those programs it'll show you what the color will look like and then you will know exactly if you want it or not um because I did the colors actually on the school computers because we have Adobe Photoshop elements so that's what I recommend using just to figure out the color and you can just since it says too blue all you do is if I'll show you all you type in is blue or whatever you call it I call it BLU 
and you don't see anything different but now if I say forward 40 um, you may not be able to tell um, because of screen recording because it kind of looks black but um, it is blue I'll say brick FD 40 as you can see you can definitely see the difference between those two um, and then here and I have a lot of different colors that's all you need to do set PC and you can have as many different colors as you want like I mean obviously you're not gonna do colors that each uh, number is like one away because you won't really be able to tell the difference unless you do that like from one to a hundred and you just do like forward one and then you kind of do it a rainbow I haven't tried that yet but that would be cool um and then I just tell it to do circle and for some of my circles I actually in the beginning of the code tell it to do a different a color I made so I'll just say lime green and then I'll tell it what to do in this circle I'm repeating it 200 times forward 24 and then RT 89 so if I type in circle for you guys right here as you see it's a smaller circle and lime green and thick and that's just my code um, you can do all different types of circles and and I have FL1, FL2, and I have like 11 different flowers, and those are um, different sized of the same flowers pretty much, and then they overlap on each other and look like a full flower. And I can type in, f and all of these go into flower, and then flower 2, and flower 3. And um, basically, then I have over here to garden garden is my um basically my flower garden that I made and then I have all these different colors and um codes in here and it's just telling it to basically it took me a really long time to do this um like an hour maybe like two hours I don't know but like I mean we used to have class for um, half an hour and then we I would just work on this in class and um, it I don't know like maybe four classes but it'll take you a while unless you want a really bad one and okay so the, I'm running out of time here so I'm just gonna stop this and just check out part four which will finally be the last part of this and then I'll show you also variables after that so thanks for watching and let's go to part four